Hello, thanks for joining me, astrologer Patrick Arundel, for your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 23rd of August. Now this is for the Sun or the Ascendant, but if you'd like to get your free daily horoscope fired to your device each morning, please see the link below. Also, if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. And if you want to ascend above your zodiac sign and grapple with more serious astrology, please check out my special offer, 30% off for a personal forecast for a year and a character analysis. Please see the link below. Hello Scorpio and welcome to your in-depth forecast for week commencing the 23rd of August. The Sun has arrived in the part of your horoscope to do with the future, your group associations, your higher values and the way you network and interact with people in general. Now Mars, your traditional ruler, is already in this location along with Mercury. So this can be an exciting time for your social life. But Venus, the planet of relating, paradoxically, is located in a much more muted, sheltered and reflective location. So as much as you can connect with people and forge some delightful alliances, particularly with Mars forging an electric angle to Uranus, which could bring someone into your situation quickly this week, there may be a relationship scenario that you're just contemplating and thinking about at a deeper level. Also, Venus is in an angle with Saturn in your sector of emotions. So they are actually linking in a very positive way. And maybe there's a friend or someone that you relate to who provides some kind of, you know, somebody who sees a vision of the world that you really respect. So it could be an influencer of some kind. And that person can be having quite a big impact on your psyche this week. But also, if there is a friend that you're quite drawn to in a romantic context, you could really think about this uh, person and the potential for a relationship with them in a great deal of detail. If, however, you feel a current relationship isn't necessarily going to fit in with the direction your life is now shaping up to take, then you may really be thinking whether it's time to say au revoir and to have a, a life as uh, have a period as a singleton. If you do decide to make that decision, I think the planets are very supportive for you. It's not that necessarily you want to hurt that person or let them down, and there may be elements of their nature that you really respect. And I think Saturn's uh, support of Venus is making you really think carefully about making this uh, decision. I don't necessarily think you're going to. Uh, be too quick to make the judgment. Of course, Mars's angle to Uranus pushes you potentially to be more daring, more spontaneous. Maybe you will be. But I think generally you're going to try and be a bit more detached and logical about any decisions you make. And if you can orientate your future in a way which really fits with your higher values and how they've been developing and changing, then it could see you setting sail on a new course. Because one of the things that happens in life, I often feel, is that we can have big aims and ambitions, and then when we get to them, we've realised that we've actually changed. And it's not that the things that we've attained aren't important, or that we aren't uh, proud of what we've achieved, or uh, don't have respect for those achievements. It's just that because we're often altering, then a new set of objectives emerges. And I think that's what you may go through over the next few weeks. And if you just prepare yourself for that, then that's going to help you to make some transitions in a smoother, but also more enterprising way.